Yo, Wagwan Nation, morning, afternoon, good night, whatever time it is you're tuning into this video. Uh, today we are doing something a little different. Gonna go on Reddit today and look into the dreadlock sections on there. R slash dreadlocks on Reddit. They do have, what is that, 50k? Oh, 10k subscribers on their channel. Now this is a place where people come and show pictures of their locks and if you've never heard of Reddit, Reddit is probably one of the biggest websites in the world, um, right up there with Facebook and Google. And if you have never browsed Reddit before, I suggest it because there is a ton, 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 ton of info and pictures and entertainment on here that you can sign up for um, basically specific things like um, Photoshop battles or funny or ask historians or um, green text. There's, there's tons of random shit. I normally come here specifically for the weed stocks subreddit, but today we're actually looking at the dreadlocks subreddit. So, first and first, this guy here posted after 17 years, I decided to cut my dreads. What? Oh gosh, what a difference! It's pretty insane. 17 years and his locks were like nicely parted and everything at the top and look how long they are boom down to his chest And he's holding them up off the ground. So these are like past his waist, but they were pretty smooth as well these locks and He cut them off. You can still kind of see some parting at the front here And what do you guys think better before or after? He probably feels like a brand new man after getting those things cut off like that the most comfortable flight of my life. Oh, this guy has dreadlocks hanging. This guy has this guy has dreadlocks hanging in front of him while he's flying. Now, this is this is actually a funny point because I personally don't like wearing my hair down in airplanes or on buses or on trains because there's a lot of people that pass through those vehicles and vessels, so I basically don't want my hair to be touching the same ish that other people have been touching when they sit down there because they're holding it down to the max and the dreadfidence zero fucks given you know like and he's still rocking the locks so I mean it's and this look would still look fine wearing a tam if you had long dreads at the back and you put a tam on it would actually look like you still had a full set so big ups to this guy for rocking his dreads like this. It's a dreadhead ting in the forest. The red dreads, very uh, uh what is it? What is, very aesthetic photo here. The green and the red. Now with the lady dreads here, and the front ones being banged out, it's pretty dope. And this is quite the popular look for females. It does give you more of a um like neater professional look when you have this at the front for some reason when people look at your eyes and they look up at your hair and they see this and not a dread it's it's a lot more calming and pleasing than having just dreads right there so these dreads looking real thick um wispy tips a lot of dye obviously type one hair this is a dream catcher someone actually made with dreadlocks ah oh, yikes that's actually, um, I've never seen that before. That's pretty insane. A dream catcher with her dreads. Yowza. I don't believe in dream catchers anyways. You done know. This is um, a practical use for dreads. Put them up as a baby character carrier. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that baby looks freaking huge. So this is dreads for two and a half years and then they've been brushed out after on some type 1C hair or 1B. So yes, you can brush out dreads and notice how much her dreads shrank when they were in the locks compared to when it's out. It's almost like half the length, but um, had she kept going on, she would have got back to this length with her locks, no problem. So here's some ish talking about. Uh, indigenous dreads again. I posted this picture recently. Cree chief Pitawana Napi Ewini with locked hair in 1885. Two sadhus 
with their hair in Jata style dreadlocks. This is uh, what happens in India. Young boxers with long dreadlocks depicted on a fresco from Akrotiri in Greece from 1600 to 1500 BCE. So I mean, locks have been around here for a long time. Um, even Sumerian and Egyptian days. So this is, um, oh, what the hell? Uh, this is like, this is, this is kind of gone wrong. This is too forced. This is, there, there is too much forcing involved right here in, in this lady getting her dreads because um, these are like some interlocked things right down to the root. Very damaging. Um, very susceptible to having mildew in there. And then she's got the bangs that's just like straight cut here. Kind of awkward. Oh, uh, But you know what? Even though this has happened, in time, she can reverse it and fix it. Um, not, not, not reverse it, but she can outgrow this and have the bangs grow out more, have the dreads grow out more and mature and change the method of how she's doing them. And they will actually still turn out pretty good. You could even start combining them together to make thicker dreads so not all is lost at this point because you can still just grow it out and in time I have proper looking dreads this is just an extremely awkward stage she's put herself to put herself in D Rose dreadlocks braided it up pretty dope looking right there I really like my hair in this picture I thought I'd share it with dreadlocks yeah it's dope I thought this was lazy dreads for a minute when I saw that thumbnail so this is more like a type type uh, type two hairstyle with some dreadlocks that have been uh, most likely crocheted and backcombed in the play. Long over five years on this one because it's, they're way past his chesticles. This guy wanted dreads in high school and his mom gave him braids. Yo, no lie, I started my first hairstyle with this same type of deal. Actually, minus the braids, I just put rubber bands in my hair. Um, but yo, this would have actually went to dreads had he kept them in right like he could have just put these in and then grown his hair out from this and they would have ended up being dreads so you weren't actually too far off been trying to caption this since i spotted it at panda express yo what is that <laughs> they're not dreads though it's almost looking like a plica though she could be catching a plica real soon <laughs> jack tenny I'm not watching that right now. Dread work. Cool looking dreads. Looking kind of tight around this middle one right here. Personally, I like to have more dreads at the front than fewer. Because right now it's kind of like a unicorn dread in the front. Dreadlocks from two days ago. These ones looking real, real tight. Blunted tips. Definitely crocheted in. Recently said goodbye to 17 year old dreads once again. Wow, 17 years and they're past her ass. I would think that by 17 years, you would, ha you know what? They must have been trimmed, obviously, a few times because some of these up here are really short. And she's trim trimmed them to a point where she's brushed out some and she's still got a little bit of length left. So, looks good on her. Dreads obviously looked better, but it is what it is. Dreadlock progression, first day, first week. First day of dreads first week of dreads and you see this guy putting thread and rubber bands in here like this is outrageous like that's not the right way to really been doing it this guy should know that you can take out the rubber bands and ting and you could actually just let your hair free form in at this point and you're good don't be trying to force it with shit rocking it through the awkward phase being eight months since my last haircut what that beard is crazy um, doesn't look like he's dreading though. I don't know what he's posting his shit up in here. Oh, we've had him on the channel before. A mad plica heading up here that's been wrapped up with rubber bands all the way up. And check out the dread beard he's got down to his waist. Yikes. Looks like he's even got some dye in his beard and he's got some rubber bands in his beard as well. Rocking the baldy locks. And the headband kind of keeping it to the side. That's insane. <coughs> this guy is holding it down in the Plika and Dreadbeard game. One hundo. The dog has dreads on its tail. My dog has dreads on his whole body. And this is 
This is the dreadlock mullet. Whoa. Have we seen this before on the chans? The dread mullet. I thought about this. It's a style. And people are actually rocking it. This guy looks like he's about to lose his hair in the back too. So, you know, all he needs to do is grow out the crown to get the crown dreads there. Three years after removing her dreads, these dreads were serious. I like the lumps and the kinks that she's had in them. Looks like there was some hair coloring in there as well that's kind of muddled away. Very frizzy. You can tell there was no maintenance at the roots or anything in the past years. And that's fine. It's perfect. And now she's just got the curly hair again. So this is a uh, Caucasian with a type 3 or even a type 2C, 3A hairstyle. And, and that's why we got such thick, lumpy bumpy dreads over here which is perfect um, and check out her curls on the ends these wispy tips very curly just like how they are here very nice hair type Florida schools anti-bullying program banned dreadlocks and progressive hairstyles that's, that's ridiculous progressive meaning black and brown why would the hairstyle mean that they're a bully that's basically saying that in Florida if you have dreads or if you have some sort of afro progressive hairstyle you are a bully and this needs to stop five schools banned braids or cornrows have stipulations about the appearance of their hairstyles two schools ban hair wraps or beads four schools ban dreadlocks or require the dreadlocks be tied back what is it with people and dreadlocks tied back that makes it not so progressive or not so aggressive oh gosh florida get it get it right because a lot of people in florida have dreads like come on my boyfriend's freeform dreadlocks with rainbow ends four years old yo these guys this guy's dreads are super thick the rainbow actually looks pretty cool how he's got that going on there at the end of his locks and look at the size of this dread right here like what I mean you can only get dreads this thick from freeforming unless you're wrapping your hair up synthetically or with real hair whatever then you could wrap it real thick but this is the true way to get Bob Marley type and the and the tips are so wispy very wispy tips and this chick here one month and a half of crocheted dreads and she's loving it well chick you got to get to a year and a half now now that you're at a month and a half get a year and a half and report back because a lot of people can't make it for the first year but you know it is what it is anyways this is subreddit dread dreadlocks subreddit dreadlocks our dreadlocks hope you guys enjoyed this video a little something different on the channel today and um yeah, I'll do this every so often when the page is now full of new content. But yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, one loves to happy and happy. And I'll definitely check you out soon. Peace!